Let's do it! Hello, boys and girls. Welcome to South Rune for a 3v3. This is the Age of Ring mod. In the back, we have a Harad. It is Conquistador going with the Harondor start. Looking for that early spam, which means his teammate is going to be... Yep, it's Dranza playing as Gondor. And the unlucky third is... Adivasi of the People's Republic of Hungary. Have fun with that. Opposite them, we have a, a Willem Realm. And it is real and true stone facing the bell tower rush already. In the back is a Doggledore. It is Men of Dale. One day you'll be brave enough to go in the front, but it is not this day. And to finish it all off, oh yes, it is Persia's greatest son. It is Thran Yang of the Iron Winds, also playing Woodland Realm. Anyway, bell tower start because Adavasi has no shame. And uh, I think he's gone with the uh, Rohan Scout. Yes, he has. And, oh, there's his uh, teammate doing teammate things. Going with spiders, going for some nice trample, and actually saving the hunting shrine. Um, no XP, no power points from bell tower units, but he saved the hunting shrine. And, uh, yeah, that was the uh, important thing. So Conquistador going to look to be aggressive here because we all know how Men of Dale plays. He's got one building. He's probably going to make maybe two units max. And then the rest will be resource buildings for the hero spam. So, the art of hero spam started by Excelsior and perfected by Men of Dale. But he's only got spiders on the field, and these are pikemen, so Conky using his noggin there. And, uh, I mean, you could summon these spiders to do a little bit of damage, but it isn't going to save the mill. And uh, Men of Dale might be forced to uh, make other units, unless uh, Thran isn't busy. Thran going for... Horse Archers, good choice. And Lin here start for um, Dronzus, and he's already crept the uh, Woggle Air, or at least I assumed he has. Gondor gonna have their hands full with uh, Willem Realm. I mean, Sylvan Knife Fighters just eat Clansmen for breakfast, and then, I mean, any Archers or whatever come in, I mean, uh, Horse Archers are just gonna destroy them. Thranko and Ferida, actually. Thran's pretty good with Ferida. Although anyone who can use Faraday better than me, I deem good, and that's not hard. And did I just hear a hero already? Adavasi! He is going on the wall because he has the first hero of the game, and it is Ayo Win. I don't think there's going to be much of a peasant spam. The bell tower is actually fallen! Very well done. I'm not sure if it was the spiders or the knife biters, but... Ooh. Yeah, I mean, you, you can just see the strength of Woodland Realm. Their speed, once they get that armor buff as well... I mean, they're going to be trampled by Cav there. Early Cav. He had to take up to get that Cav, so, um... Yeah, that's actually quite uh, interesting. But yeah, the Bell Tower going down. That's why I don't understand. Like, why do people go forward Bell Tower? Because if, if it gets caught out, that's 600 monies you ain't getting back. Hero number two. I feel like I should apologize to Man of Dale. I said he would be the hero spammer, but other team has got two heroes on the board. And he's only got Thrain, so... Well, he did have Thrain. And a Broken Rabble on the field. He's only got two Slave Mills, so... Conquistador actually doing a very good job stopping the uh, Hero Spam. And, um... Yeah, Polska Garon boys are actually in the lead. Uh, except for, you know, Adivasi getting his... Um, shit rocked, but that's okay. That, that's okay, that's acceptable. But yeah, I, I mean... Uh, Peasants are on a timer on the bell tower. It's fine. You save yourself five seconds by putting it in a dangerous spot. So, I mean, by all means, if you're up against me, put your bell tower in a forward spot. But if you're on my team, put it next to your fort and don't move it. Okay, Conky is focusing a bit on Thran here. He needs to keep up the pressure on Men of Dale. You want to delay him getting... Cargast as soon as humanly possible. In fact, we're going to put it on DG cam. Oh no, it's worse. It's worse. It's not Cargast. It's... Don't do it. Let's not... Let's not do it. Okay, you human monkey. Okay. Necromancer is about to come waltzing out of those decrepit gates. We'll keep it on DG cam so we can hear it. Fine, whatever. And what level's Baragon? Level 3. Already used a slam shot. Hunting Shrine goes down. Plenty of other hunting, hunting shrines, though. That uh, Dranza's unable to get. 
and he just has to retreat here. There's literally nothing he can do here. He's Lin here. He has to make Lin here, otherwise he gets trampled by the horse archers. But Lin here just get eaten up by everything else Willem Realm has. Boromir's on the field, another hero. That's interesting. I thought he would have just gone for archer spam, like with Faramir, but I guess not. Okay, it's been a while, surely. I know Adavasi's fighting, but I want to see it. I want to see it. Come. I want to see him come. There it is, I said it. Anyway, the dog has been spawned immediately. And now Conquistor is regretting his life choices because he's seen it. He has seen the dreaded Necromancer. Faction hero for only 2,500 monies. And uh, yeah, nothing he's got can uh, deal with that. Unless there was a Gimli on the field, but no Erebor apparently. Um, I don't think there's a hero out for Men of Dale. He seems to be getting the Cav treatment from Conky. And again, a forward bell tower, but he actually has troops to protect it this time. So it's hard to harass and also starve the Necromancer of XP, as we're seeing. This is actually two battalions, because there's two Fatboy Slims. Yikes. Yikes. Okay, well, they weren't full battalions, so not that much XP. Yeah, I think they need... Um... Oh no, they don't get any other archer heroes. I was going to say, they need Tower Yell, but out of RC is Rohan, not Woodland Realm. They need something, they need someone to snipe Necromancer. I think Necromancer could actually fight here. Hold up, battle on the right! There goes the tree, is Boromir in trouble? I think Boromir should be fine. He gets the knife throw, doesn't get the kill, so doesn't get the XP. Legolas is on the field! We missed the twin arrows, that sucks. We know how strong they are, just casually one-shotting Grey Company, I'm still not over that. But yeah, Boromir doesn't have his armor upgrade, he doesn't get it, and well, I mean the emergency armor upgrade. He doesn't get it till level 7. So if Thran focuses all of his archers on Boromir, he could actually go down. Okay, I push here. Hit with the dry spell. Sylvan Barracks does go down. Hunting Shrine is definitely in trouble. Builder might go down as well. It's like a soft double up here, but a definite double up here because there is Necromancer with Legolas. And Dranzarin's in huge trouble. Two wolves now. There's Hawkstrike again. And Boromir's Horn of Gondor going to do precisely Jack. Because, well, I mean, he's not even level 4 yet. But if he did, it still wouldn't do anything because Necromancer's on the field. Alright, there's Slam Shot. We need Baragon to get the armor upgrade. He gets it at level 5. Just a couple more kills. Alright, yeah, he's definitely going to go for the farm here. They might actually be able to get the barracks as well. It depends if he's got rebuild. He does not have rebuild. Mm. I think Thran could have gone for one of the barracks there, but Conky's pushing. That explains why Men of Dale left. Courage for our friends has been dropped as well. And is this Thran's or real intrus- oh, it's real Thran's. Alright, Suladan is on the field. He has that Severing Strike. That could be used to get Necromancer, but it's not as simple as that. He's only level 2, actually. He doesn't have Shapeless Malice. There is still time. Kargas is on the field! Okay, yeah, there's no time. There is no time. There is no way for these troops to get out. They did get the mill, but they're giving so much XP. It's unavoidable, sadly. He's now level 3. of Horror Dread. And one step closer to Shapeless Malice, which basically means, yeah, good luck killing him. Good luck killing him. Wait, Wind Demon! Wait, Guards of the Serpent? That could do it. Uh, Thran, let's just hope they don't... Okay, they've seen him. Thran, it's fine. You can still get out. Ooh, the massive chunk of it helps. Wait, stop, start. Stop, start. Stop, start. Thran, you cheese her. Stop, start. Stop, start. Stop, start again. Thran, you... Okay, there. That's what you deserve. You little cheese her. Ooh. A lot of the Guards of the Serpent almost dying. If the tree came in earlier. Guards of the Serpent. And maybe Sulodan might have actually died there. But Thran, with the absolutely shameless, beyond shameless, uh, stop start there. Okay, I borrowed Dread. Ooh, look at that damage! He doesn't get the skeletons, but I mean, that's still huge damage, so that's basically a guaranteed win. We must go home, do we? And yeah, Necromancer can just keep poking, yeah. Show up, destroy everything you love, and then just leave. I think a any hope for the top team now, because Necromancer is that terrifying, is Adovasi needs to just completely cripple real stone 
Real Stone seemingly on the back foot, but he has his own Legolas, which means he can just camp under the fort. Adavasi needs to make battering rams or onagers and just try and lay siege to it. And I don't think this is the time. I think you need to tech up, man. You need time for your Guards of the Serpent to recover wherever they are. Actually, he does have Harondor Archers. Okay, that's a good tech up. Uh-oh. DG's turn. Dude, Dranza's having a woeful time. It's not his fault, though. It's really not his fault. Gondor just outclassed in these kinds of uh, instances. If Boromir's Horn of Gondor worked against this army, then yeah, maybe. But it doesn't, so it, he's just hes just a waste of money. <laughs> he's not even going to give leadership to these fiefdom troops as well. Thran defending mid while Necromancer is helping him here. Alright, Apora Dread again, or is he just going to leave? Alright, Suladan Severing Strike. Kargast is low! Gast of the Serpent might have actually died. Okay, now Faramir is on the field, but I feel like it's 10 minutes too late. Kralambar on the field. Kralambar? Versus double Legolas? Is that a smart move? Alright, Severing Strike has been hit on the Kargast. Kargast has been slowed, but he's actually traveling at normal speed because he gets uh, bonus speed anyway, so... Oh, wait, he's still going to be slower than uh, Suladan, though. Ooh, slam shot! And a stray arrow from someone gets the final kill there. I don't think uh, Men of Dale's going to be too bothered about losing that hero because he's lost very little. Wait, hold up. Thran? Oh, you beautiful Persian bastard. Yes. Yes, Thran. So pro. Elven King's road for the emergency teleport to help his teammate and push back this forward base. Destroys the mill. Is going to get two farms here and then maybe the siege works. That is epic value. The only downside is that the uh, Elven King's Road is also forward. Alright, there's the level 5 ability from Suldan that's going to lower the armor of the structures. Going to mean very little if you can't get past the army. Severing Strike on uh, Crimple. And Crimple going to get away. Conquistador unwilling to let Krolombar go even deeper there. And probably a smart choice because Thran is here. Dude, Thran putting out fires left and right, although this is his base, but still. Yeah, Kralambar, unable to get that many kills. Hasn't got Breaker of Stone. Until he gets Breaker of Stone, he's actually he's actually quite quite easy to um, deal with. Alright, Hornet Gondor this. Unless Legolas is in there. Yes? Oh, I think he was doing it and then he changed his mind. Oh, maybe Necromancer sh uh, Was Necromancer's fear? No, it's just nearby Dogledore. Okay. Alright, Legolas is in there anyway. Okay. Damn, they have double fear resist and this kid went with Gondor, or with uh, Boromir. Damn! Okay, can a brother get a siege, Mumak? I mean, I know Mumaks are a waste of time, but against double Legolas is even bigger waste of time, but I want to see... A Mumak with a giant catapult on his back. Is that too much to ask? Yep. That's a shame. There's the arrow volley from Faramir. Gonna get the Broken Rebel there. Oh no, anyway. Alright, Wind Demon is almost back. Tier 3 is on the horizon. If Thran gets Elven King's Road back, he could actually do a... DG teleport behind Gondor. Alright, Wind Demon's gonna come in here. Maybe he wants to get two armies for one. It's possible. I'm on high settings, that might be. If you see a stuttering, that might be why. There's the horn, Wind Demon isn't gonna kill. Actually, Wind Demon came in somewhere else. Oh, they're sieging Gondor. I think it might have hit Conky's army. Oh, I told you if the archers focus Boromir, they'll get him. And a Thillian Wood for bonus damage, but not enough range to really hit these guys. Wait, is Necromancer going for the Fortress? Okay, yeah, I think he was... Uh-oh. There's the tier 3 we were talking about. There's one... No, no, there's a bunch of Spearmen in there. These guys are actually quite tanky because they are a, uh, a tier 3 unit after all. And... Eh, get some of the archers. Ah, oh, but not really the kind of value you want. Okay, huge push now. Wait, where's this fort? Ayo! Hold up. Someone's just stolen a monkey. Guards of the Serpent are back on the field. Um. What happened? 
What the hell happened? Th this took out a fort? That's level 5 Kralambar. Oh, he has Casimir as well. He just melee heroed it down. Ah, oh, that might have been it. Yikes. You know what, Men of Dale? I think you can blame Thran for, it. Thran for that. If you weren't having to help him all the time. Oh, he's got a tower. It's pinged. I don't know if that's pinged by the enemy or not. But there is still a chance for them to come back here. So long as it leave one builder alive and the sheep are never safe. Unless, of course, Re uh, Men of Dale's Fort goes down. Westfold is it there? <gasps> Damn you, Urkenbrand. Dude, I don't know how he broke... Freaking hell, I missed them attacking this... I, I missed them attacking two forts. Just to see Boromir die. This has been one of the worst trade deals in the history of perhaps ever. Oh man, that sucks. Thran's not going to get tier 3 in time. I think the fort is going to go down. Okay, they're retreating on two fronts. But if this, if, if, surely if that's... Two forts go down. Surely that's it. Galleon falls to Eowyn. Eowyn on 1 HP. She's going to die. To Tauriel and some Ferida. Oh, Thran's going to teleport. And Necromancer might actually just save real stone's fort here. Holy god, it is. That's actually such a pain. Alright, Golden King. Does his nullif his nullifying leadership should affect Necromancer, right? Which means they will be susceptible to fear, which means Horn of Gondor can be used. Now, if I know that, then they definitely know that. Oh! Bad neighborhood, bad neighborhood, bad neighborhood, run! Inglewood moment! Ooh, you saw him transform at the last second, but oh, they get him anyway. And yeah, that should be GG. Thran, it's up to you, my dear. It is up to you. Thranamir, Captain of Gondor. A chance to show your quality. There's XP boost. Thanks, Legolas. Litho. Ah, real stone calls GG. I think oh, his last act was a life though. That's funny. Okay, Thran's gonna try something here. There's arrow volley, knife throw as well, or whatever that was actually. God damn, level five Sylvan archers with Legolas. Uh oh, it's not. They're gonna get the hero. No, they went straight into spears. Thran, what are you doing? Yeah, let Conky show you how it's done. Both the heroes have to die here, surely. Low health Legolas, that's what he's called. How is he not dying? There we go, he's gone. Guards of the Serpent fall, what the hell? Casimir was in there as well. Okay, there's a lesson to be learned here. XP boost on Legolas, use it on your archers. Levels make all the difference. I have never seen Guards of the Serpent die that quickly. To archers as well. Okay, but that's going to be the end. Yeah, we missed quite a bit there. That's annoying. I, I'm kind of, I'm, I'm always so annoyed when I miss key parts. It's hard to look everywhere at once, but hopefully you guys can forgive me this one time. Anyway, still then going to fall. Uh, kind of. Ooh, yeah, Thran must have been angry for him to uh, murder Suladan like that. But anyway, that's going to be a GG well played. Now the Numenorians are here. Yeah, they would have. Uh, they would have uh, proved the challenge for Willem Realm. And there goes Tauriel. We're not going to get the Abracan summon, sadly. We'll just get a Screech instead. That was a pretty fun game. That was cool. That was quite fast-paced. Hope you guys all enjoyed. Oh, by the way, if you have long 3v3s or just long team games, then uh, send that to me as well because I'm... Uh, I'm changing up my uh, replay policy, so be sure to send those. Anyway, hope you guys all enjoyed. Like, comment, subscribe. Look at Minutes Earth. Goodbye.